morning, everybody. This is Bev. Um, just wanted to join you every morning. This won't be every Sunday morning. And, um, only as, uh, I believe God leads me. And, um, I'm not going to be trying to beckon an audience like, come on in, come on and join me, um, announce it. I'll just do the video and, um, you know, as everybody sees it, they'll probably, um, view or not view. To view or not to view, that is the question. <laughs> no, but, um, I pray that people will view more than likely a whole lot of see the video and may not view but I pray they will view and um but um the topic for today is who do you represent um my heart is kind of is not kind of burdened it is burdened and um unfortunately I've been seeing a lot of disturbing post um mainly from um a lot of people that um say they know God um say they know Christ and, and um uh um I could understand if it was a lot of posts from people that um of are of the world of the world but um posts that I'm seeing are people that um are of um on my friends list that's what's disturbing me and grieving my heart the most and um they are saying I, I I'm not gonna say that they not safe I, I'm I, I can't say that I can't say that they're not saved, and um, but um, the stuff that's I see them posting and the stuff that's coming out their mouths and stuff like that um is very disturbing to me, and um, I'm not God, and I can't make that determination, but um, I'm very disturbed by what I'm seeing and um and hearing and um it's 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 grieving to me and my question to them and my question period is who do you represent? Who who are you who do you who are you representing? Who who are you representing? I mean, like, really? Really? And um, I have a few scriptures. I'm going to say what I feel God is leading me to say, and I'm going to get off of here. Because, um, and, you know, I'm seeing posts from believers, true believers, that is um, confirming what I'm feeling in my spirit. And I seen one this morning, and it made me break down and cry. It made me break down and cry. It, 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 and and sob before God. So I'm going to start off with Matthew 5, 13, and 16. And I'm starting to well up. Now, even thinking about what I read, what they post. Um, but I'm going to go on and, and, and do what I need to do. Um, Matthew 5, 13 through 16. It says, you are the salt of the earth. But if salt has lost its taste... How shall the saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything 
except to be thrown out and trampled under people's feet. Salt is like a preservative. If you know salt, and if you watch Food Network and so forth like that, or if you're a cook or you cook or what have you, salt is used to flavor food. Salt is used as a preservative. You know people that use salt as brining and so forth like that. Salt is used to flavor, is used to preserve. In the Bible, um, Christ, um, Jesus um, refers to us as the salt, as a salt of the earth. We are the salt of the earth. We are like a preservative to the earth. We are the salt of the earth. But if the salt has lost its taste, how is the saltiness restored? It is no longer good for anything. It's good for nothing except to be thrown out and trampled under people's feet. You're worthless. That's what it means. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do people light a lamp and put it under a, ba a basket. How you gonna put a light under a basket? It ain't, and it, it, it's not you. It's not useful under a basket. But on a stand, and it gives light to all in the house. And that's it. I think about the blackouts and, 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 and stuff like that that you have during the hurricane. If you have a light and you put it uh, and, and you have the blackout and you put the light under a basket or under um under a blanket or something and you hear the blackout, you can't see nothing. You got to put the light out so you can see. In that same way, let your light shine before others. King James said, "Let your light so shine before men." So that they may see your good works. Good works. The good that's in you. And give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Let your light so shine before men. Your light. The good. Not the rotten stuff. But if rotten is in you, how are you going to let that shine? Then I'm going to read from 1 Corinthians 13. Um, you should be familiar with this scripture. 1 through 13. I know, I know what that says. I'm familiar with that. No, but we need to be reminded of what the word of God says. You have to keep reminding yourself and reminding yourself ourselves. Reminding ourselves, reminding ourselves what the word of God says. If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels and have not love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. I think about a lot of a lot of us or a lot of us believers that have the gift of the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues. And um sometimes you 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 speaking in all these tongues and, and, and some I, I I got to say some of this tongue stuff ain't real. Some of it ain't real. And some of us don't don't have the Holy Spirit like we say we do. And speaking in all these tongues of men and angels, uh, so-called tongues of men and angels, and they don't have a bit of love in their hearts. No love. Fake tongues. They need to get some real Holy Ghost. I'm being truthful. 
if I speak in the tongues of men and of angels and have not love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. It's just noise. It's a bunch of noise. Bad noise, too. I heard the, uh, some of the old folks say, um, <clears throat> the empty barrel make the most noise. I know may, many may have heard that so the um that saying the empty barrel make the most noise a full barrel you ever roll you ever roll a full barrel before they don't hardly make that mo that most noise it's a boom 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 but you roll a a, a empty barrel It's hollow and it makes a lot of noise. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith as to remove mountains, I mean, the, the, you load it, man. You prophet so and so, you got all this faith that you can do this and that and 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 and, and so and so. You go speak at this place and you do this and you do that. And you have all these gifts and all of that. And yeah, you can. You on top of the world. You can remove mountains and so forth. But have not love. I am nothing. If I give away all that I have. Are you a giver now? And if I deliver up my body to be burned. Man, that's deep. But have not love. I gain nothing. Wow. Wow. Love is patient. Nowadays, we don't have none of that. We don't have no patience with each other. We snap off at each other in a heartbeat. We irritable with one another. I said we. We. I ain't say y'all. I said we. We. Love is patient. And kind. Not stingy. Not selfish. Kind. Love does not envy. It's not envious. It's not jealous. Love does not or boast. Not envy or boast. It's not boastful. Look at me. I'm all that in a bag of chips. I'm all that. You ain't jack. You ain't got nothing to say. It's not arrogant. It's not rude. It's done, it does not insist on its own way. It's not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing. Look at how y'all rejoicing over President Trump and how he do how how he do wrong. Look at him. Look at his character. 
Look at how he do this and do that. Meow, 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 meow. Man, you're supposed to be praying for him. I ain't praying for that, man. He ain't gonna never change. Really? That what God said? Okay. Does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things. Believes all things. Hopes all things. Endures all things. Loves never ends. As for prophecies. They will never they will pass away. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will pass away. For as sorry, for we know in part and we prophesy in part. But when the perfect comes, the partial will pass away. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I gave up childish ways. Some of us still ain't did that yet. Oh my God, please help us, Jesus. Some of us still ain't done that yet. We ain't done it yet. And we display that on Facebook every day. Acting like children. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. And, and our parents, some of our parents, uh, some of our good our parents was good parents. And told us if we didn't have anything good to say, keep our mouth shut. But we still ain't learned that yet. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. I know in part, then I shall fully, no I'm sorry. I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I have been fully known. So now faith, hope, and love abide. These three, but the greatest of these is love. Oh, my God. Love. The greatest of those three is love. Love. Without love, we have nothing. Nothing. I'm going to touch on love again in a few. But another thing that's been disturbing me so much... And I believe it disturbs God too. It's been for a long time, but it disrespect of persons thing. I don't know when God's people is gonna learn that respect the persons is God is not pleased with respect of persons. And in his word with him is no respect of persons, and in his word he said, with him is no respect to persons. Um, Romans 2, 11. For it says, for with God. Well, it says, for God. What is, I have the amplified scripture. For God shows no partiality. No arbitrary favoritism. That's basically what it is, favoritism. With him, one person is not more important than the other. That's what, it's, that's what it says. That's what it means. So why do we show favoritism? 
why is sister so and so more important than sister so and so? Why when sister so and so speak, she's more important than sister so and so? Why is sister so and so more anointed than sister so and so? Why when sister so and so do a video or she speak or they speak or whatever. Whatever. Why is she more anointed in private but in public she ain't nothing? I mean, there's a bunch of foolishness, man. If you love her in, pri in private, you love her in public. Okay? We supposed to be respect we we supposed to respect each other, love each other, support each other in private and public, you know. If you say so and so is your friend and part of your family, then they part your friend and part of your family. All this partiality and, 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 and respect the person stuff, God is is grieved by it in every way, shape, and form. He is grieved. And I don't know if we think we go into heaven with it, we not. Because none of that ain't up there. Another thing that 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 just just this that's been this grieving. These two words shouldn't even go together. Christians hating. What is that? What is it? Christians hating? Christians hating. You hating and you showing it. It's not hating. It's, it, I'm just speaking the truth. No, it's not speaking the truth. Hatred. It's hatred. You need to check your heart. And if you get mad with me, and and, and 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 you want you want to delete me, block me, whatever. Do what you need to do because I'm speaking the truth before God. It's hatred. You cannot hate Trump or Biden. And say you love God. You can't. It's impossible. Or you can't hate anyone else that votes for them. And say you love God. It is impossible. First John 4 and 20. If a man say, I love God... And hateth his brother. He is a liar. 
a liar. L I A R. Liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he has seen. How God not see. How can um um Trump or Biden? You a lie. And the truth ain't in you. I can't stand him. He make me sick. I don't like the way he act. He a racist. He had, he's a racist. See people posting stuff. He a racist pig. He make me sick. He ain't got COVID. He ain't sick. I hope he die. What the f*** you talking? You hope somebody die. Suppose somebody hope you die. What do you think God is saying about you saying something like that? Really? And you say you saved? And you hope somebody die? You hope somebody die, lose their soul, and go to hell? So you hope somebody die and lose their soul and go to hell? That's what you want. And I have to say this to you. You are not saved. I'm sorry. I'm going to read from 1 Timothy is, uh, uh, what, what, what the Bible said we should do about our leaders. And half of us don't even do it. Because we hate them so much. 1 Timothy 2, 1-4. through 4. I had to keep getting up because um, the reception is not good. Now, I didn't do this last Sunday. There ain't nothing but the enemy. And I prayed, but that's all right. The devil is a liar. This is going to get through. First of all, then, I urge that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgivings. Thanksgivings. Wow. Thanksgivings? <laughs> okay. Be made for all people. For kings and all who are in high positions, that we may live, sorry, that we may lead a peaceful and quiet life, godly and dignified in every way. This is good and is pleasing in the sight of God our Savior, who desires all people to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. No, we ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. We ain't doing that at all. We ain't we giving no supplications, prayers, intercession. We not interceding for Trump. No way, no how. No, we too busy praying that he died, calling him a racist pig, saying he ain't sick. Not praying no healing. His salvation. Not praying for a character change. No, we too busy on there saying, somebody saying, somebody posted and saying, oh, he got COVID. Um, maybe, um. Maybe God will touch his heart now and deal with his heart. Somebody else posted um, that I know saying, oh, um, oh, I doubt it. What? Oh, so that means he, um, it, 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 it's too late for God to touch his heart. It's impossible for, t for God to touch Trump's heart. Really? You God. You know the mind of God. You got first cousin. You know how God is. Come on now, people. Come on. Really? 
Stop it! And okay, and Biden is is, is got excellent character. I ain't want to go there. He got excellent character. And see, he said if he was elected, the first one of the first things he's going to do is fund Planned Parenthood, the organization that kills babies, the organization that um wants to um um rid the population of minorities. Margaret Sanger. The woman that founded Planned Parenthood said that their um number one purpose was to um to to um to rid the population of minorities that's us and, and, and other um minority races and and and, 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 uh, and to um to 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 excel the lgbt uh, um um community Both things is abomination unto God. Okay? I went there. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I went there. But I'm not saying that God can't change his heart too. God can change Joseph Biden's heart too. And for me to for for me or anybody to sit there and hate Trump or Biden is a sin against God. Now I said it. And I will be reading now from Matthew twenty four twelve. Back on love again. With this hatred thing. And because iniquity shall abound. The love of many shall wax cold. The love of many shall wax cold. Love is waxing cold. I think about when you th when you think about waxing cold. I thought about that waxing cold. And I thought about a candle. You know a candle, how when you light the candle, the candle is so pretty and the light in the candle, and it illuminates and gives light all that's around it, and, it, 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 and, and you feel so much warmth and stuff from the candle, and then when you put the candle out, then the wax, it just wax and it's just cold and it's just of no use. You don't feel no more warmth from it. It just waxes cold. I just thought about the candle. And that's how you feel from people. No no warmth, no love, no nothing. Just coldness. Just uh, uh um just not uh, it, 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 it's even worse than that. But I had thought about a candle. Wax cold. It's even worse than the candle. Just hatred and coldness and bitterness toward people. And, and, and it's crept in the body of Christ and in the churches. It's cold. People cold. And then they shouting and carrying on over it. And then next thing you know, they, they afterwards, they cold towards you. That's mess. And 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 and, they, and 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 you and you think that um and, and people just uh talking about the the the, and the voting choices and and stuff like that. People are not voting righteousness. 
They don't think about voting righteousness. They don't think about the things that 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 is uh, um that's eternal. Eternal. They don't think about the things that's um that's 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 eternal. The things that um and and um that God that is that God. They think about health care. They think about employment they think about all those things they're not thinking about seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you they're not thinking about that they're not thinking about proverbs 14 34 righteousness exalts a nation but sin is a reproach to any people. They're not thinking about if you ex if, if if you exalt righteousness that it'll uphold the nation. That God, all these things will be added unto you. They're not thinking about that. They're not thinking about that. They're not thinking about God as the provider. God is the sustainer. They're not thinking about that. Only righteousness and righteous choices according to the word of God will hold this nation up and save this nation. Only that. Then finally, again, another thing that 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 has been um, I have made several posts and said several things only to be be ignored. Who she thinks she is? She ain't all that. She ain't nothing. Um. She um probably said some um, things out of her, but don't think that the word of God don't correct me too. What I say on here is is for me too. Vulgar posts, save folk po posting cuss words and vulgar stuff. And oh oh oh, ain't, ain't ain't nobody gonna catch me with this. I'm just gonna slip this up here. Really? Come on now, for real. Somebody gonna catch you, number one. And of all people, uh, above anybody human, God see what you do. And we just so dumb. God is above any human catching you posting that crap up there on Facebook. Okay? I'm just just be I'm just gonna be real with you. Don't you care about what God think more than any anybody human? For real? I care about God what God think more than any of any of y'all. James 3, 9 through 12. Talk about your mouth. With it, we bless our Lord and Father. And with it, we curse men. Who we have made in the likeness of, um, who we have made in the likeness of God. With the same mouth come both blessings and cursings. No, they can't be. My brethren, these things ought not to be this way. Does a fountain send out of it the same opening both fresh and bitter water? <laughs> no. Can a fig tree, my brethren, produce olives or a vine produce figs? Nor salt water produce fresh? No. 
You can't have bitter and sweet coming out of the same um the, the same orifice. Bitter and sweet can't come out of the same orifice. Ephesians 4.29 Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouth. But only what is helpful for building up others up according to their needs. That it may benefit those who listen. Let's add fingers too. Ephesians 5 and 4. Nor should there be obscenity, foolish talk, or coarse joking, which are out of place, but rather thanksgiving. Oh, we all guilty of joking around and stuff like that. We joke. We encourage each other. We make each other laugh. But there's a thin line. There's a thin line that you draw. Laughter is good medicine. We all joke around. And in this time and day and time, we all, we got to laugh. We have to laugh. Laughter is medicine. But there's a thin line that you draw. You can go too far. Matthew 12, 34 through 37. You brood of vipers. Snakes. How can you speak good things when you are evil? Lord have mercy. For the, for the mouth speaks out of that which fills the heart. Out of the abundance of the mouth the heart speaks. What's in your heart? It's going to come out your mouth. The good man from his inner good treasure brings out good things. And the evil man from his inner evil treasure brings out evil things. But I tell you, on the day of judgment, people will have to give an accounting for every careless or useless word they speak. For your words reflecting your spiritual condition. My God. You will be justified and acquitted of the guilt of sin. And by your words rejecting me. This is God. You will be condemned and sentenced. That speaks for itself. Self-explanatory. I'm going to end this by saying I had posted something um, a little while ago. This, it pays to treat people right. It pays to love people right. Whether your family or not your family. Blood is not always thicker than water. People say blood is thicker than water. No, because there's some people out there that treat you better than blood. Some people out there that treat you better than blood. And some people that's your blood treat you worse than <laughs> some other people out there that's not your blood. So blood ain't always sticking in water. It pays to see both sides of the story. Some people don't want to see both sides of the story. Because it is because of a person that's their family. They, they don't want to see both sides of the story. Oh, that's my family. I don't care if it's your family or not. Okay, let me let me give you a scenario. 
it's a person that you uh, it, that's your family, and then it's another person that you love very dearly. That is not your blood family, but they they are like your family. But you always want to side with your family, and and, and you and you don't want to see both sides of the story. That's wrong. You have to see both sides of the story. Always. Always see both sides of the story. Because even though the person is your family, they could still be wrong. But always see both sides of the story. Always. Then it says the truth will always prevail. Always. Always. Seek peace. Always seek peace. Seek truth. Seek truth always. Even though the, the even though the, the situation may look ugly, it may look ugly, but seek the truth. Seek the truth above what it looked like. And pursue it. Go after it. Don't go after what it looked like. Ask God to show you things not with your natural eye. Not with your heart because the heart is deceitful. Ask with your spiritual eye. Don't go by what the crowd is saying. Don't even go by what all the, 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 your spiritual friends is saying. Because sometimes they, um, they don't always see right either. Go by what the Father is saying. Whatever the Father shows you, you go by that. He will always confirm it. He will use your he will use your spiritual of family or friends to confirm it, but go by what the Father is saying. You won't go wrong. I may say things in a stern way. I may say things in um I can't help the way God made me, but I may say things, but I say it out of love. And I love each and every one that I'm speaking to through this video. In my in my heart, and I'm saying it out of love. If you if you don't see it that way, then I'm sorry, but I'm saying it out of love. And I will pray. That this word reaches somebody's heart. That they will have a change of heart. I don't apologize for anything that I've said. And um, I pray that it, it is that um, somebody will have a change of heart. This is my prayer. And I just wanted to pray right now before I close this video. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come before you to thank you for another day. We thank you for your goodness, your mercy, and your grace towards us. We thank you, dear God, for your mercies that we are not consumed and cut off. God, even sometimes, Lord Father, forgive us, for we know not what we do. Sometimes we're conscious of what we do, dear God, but forgive us. And we're thankful that your mercy is not cut off from us, dear God. God, we ask that you, those of us that seek forgiveness and want to be forgiven, God, we ask that you forgive us, dear God, and to have mercy upon us, dear God. And God, we ask that you would change our hearts and our minds, dear God. We ask that you would help us, those of us that have been hateful, dear God, those of us that have said things in our mouth, out of our mouths, dear God, that are not pleasing unto you, dear God. 
We ask that you would change our hearts, God. Give us a new mind. Give us a new spirit, dear God. Give us a change of heart, dear God. A new heart, dear God. In the name of Jesus, dear God. Help us to love the unlovable, dear God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, dear God. Lord, help us to pray for those in authority, dear God. Our president, dear God. Lord, even though we see sometimes his character, dear God, can irk us to the to, to the to the utmost, but God, Lord, he's still above this nation, dear God. Lord, you've allowed him to be above this nation in, an, in a position of authority. We pray for him, dear God. We pray for his health right now. We pray for his wife. We pray, dear God, for healing, dear God, not even above healing, dear God, we pray for his soul in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, dear God. God, we just pray for those that may watch this video, dear God, that you would touch their hearts and their minds, dear God, that they may not be gripped with anger, dear God, but God, we Benefit, dear God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God, this is my prayer in Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. Well, this is the end of this video. And until the next time where God would lead me to say something. Um, you guys have a blessed day. Blessed week. Be strong. Don't be get gripped with fear, but be gripped with faith. Use wisdom. Wear your masks. Um, and be blessed. Love you. Bye-bye.